To demonstrate how to configure Simscape models for real-time simulation, we'll use a pneumatic actuation system. The model consists of a pneumatic pump that drives high-pressure gas to a valve. The position of the valve is controlled in order to adjust the flow of gas to a pneumatic motor, which can rotate in both directions. We've built this model and used desktop simulation to develop both the controller and the physical system. Now we wish to test the controller, but without a hardware prototype. We need to configure the model used for desktop simulation so that it can be used for hardware in the loop testing. We're going to use Simscape local solvers and other settings to make the model real-time capable. We're going to adjust a few of these settings in order to make the model real-time capable. And we'll see that the results of the real-time simulation match the results obtained from desktop simulation very closely. I'll now switch over to the model so that you can see how this is done. Here is the model that we're working with. You can see the pneumatic pressure source, the valve, and the pneumatic motor. We've been using this model in desktop simulation to develop our system. You can see we're using the variable step solver ODE15S. If we run this simulation, we'll generate a set of reference results. We're going to use these reference results to make sure that after we configure the model for real-time simulation, that we are still getting accurate results. We're going to take the data produced by this simulation and save it in MATLAB variables by executing these MATLAB commands. We're also going to create a plot, and we'll see on this plot later on if the results of the model after it's configured for real time still match. Now we're going to configure the model for real time simulation. First, we're going to enable the local Simscape solver backward oiler. It's a fixed step solver, and we've selected a sample time. We're also going to enable fixed cost simulation to limit the number of iterations per time step. We now need to configure the fixed step solver for the global simulation. I'll go to configuration parameters and here I'll select a fixed step solver. Since I know there are no continuous states outside of the Simscape physical network, I can simply use the fixed step discrete solver. The model is now configured for real time simulation. I'll rerun the simulation and generate a set of results. We'll need to compare these results to the results we obtained from the variable step simulation to make sure that they're accurate. To do that, we'll execute these MATLAB commands to save the variable, this data to two MATLAB variables and then add these results to the plot. If we look at this plot and zoom in on different sections, we can see that the results of the simulation when configured for fixed step simulation or for real time are extremely accurate and match the variable step simulation very closely. Now what we'll do is, we'll, now that we are ready, we will run this simulation in real time. We're going to convert this model into C code and download it to the real-time target. Here you'll see the messages that are being generated as we generate the C code. In this window, you'll see the real-time target. The real-time target is here and we have connected a monitor to, it, a monitor to it so that during the real-time simulation we can see the results here. You'll see the speed of the motor on this, um, on this monitor. So you can see that the code has been downloaded to the real-time target. We're also going to configure this model to run in external mode. What that means is the data from the real-time target will also be uploaded every second to this scope so that we can see the results of the simulation also on our, uh, our computer. I'll connect to the target and run the simulation. You'll see the speed of the motor updating every second here and you can also see it on this screen down here on top of the real-time target. The real-time simulation is finished. We're going to upload the data, the entire set of data from the real-time target using these MATLAB commands and then add it to the plot. If we go back over to this plot, you can see that the results from the real-time simulation match the reference results very closely. If I zoom in on this section, you can see the results are very accurate and we can see that the simulation ran in real time. So we have achieved our goal of configuring this model to run in real time and delivering accurate results.